computer. Good day everyone! Last topic we have discussed the different desktop computer hardware and we have known already what is inside and how CPU process. So in this topic, we will discuss now the computer processing. So in this lesson, we will learn how computers process data into useful information and we will also learn the kinds of input and output data. So let's start. So computers needs input data and commands from the users to work. Input data and commands are commonly entered into the computer using the keyboard and mouse. When you type letters and words using the keyboard, that is a kind of input. When you click the mouse, that is an input. Input is defined as the data and command entered into the computer. So computer then work on this data and command inputs. This step is called process. The CPU or the central processing unit is where the process takes place. The CPU is called the brain of the computer. The CPU does its processing very fast. Process is defined as the work done by the computer to input data and commands. The arithmetic logic unit or the ALU and the control unit of the CPU process the input data using the program used. The result displayed on the monitor after the data is processed is called output. Then output is defined as the result of the data processing. The, pr the process data is now called information. This information will be transmitted through an output device. Output device includes the monitor, printer, and speaker. Process information and raw data are usually needed by the user and other people for present and future use. Computer storage is data retention which requires that data is still present even when power is off. Computer storage is an important function of modern computer. And today, it refers to hard disks, optical disks, memory cards, and flash drives. So let's start first our discussion. So let's have it one by one. Let's have first the input. When we say input, input to the computer includes all data and commands you enter into the computer to start working on a task. Input may be singular or a combination of a the categories below. So there are four categories of input data. We have text, graphics, sounds, and video. Let's have first the text. Text includes numbers and letters. The, the keyboard and mouse are used to enter the numbers and letters. Next one is the graphics. Graphics are photos, clip arts, and other drawings. Photos may come from files, internet, or from the digital camera. Clip arts and drawings may come from programs, internet, or your own drawing. Next one, let's have the sound. Sound includes music, voices, and other types of sound. Music and voices may be home recorded using a microphone or from the internet. Next one is video. Video includes movies, short clips, takes from the video camera, and other forms of video. The internet has also a lot of video clips that people can watch and load to computer. Example is the YouTube. So basically, input devices such as the mouse, keyboard, and other peripherals are used to enter data in many instances. So we're, we're done with the input data. So let's proceed now with the part of the process. So process or processing of the input data is done in the CPU or the central processing unit. Data is processed in the CPU by the use of a program selected by a user. Now, processing may be in the form of writing a letter, drawing a picture, recording a song, adding and subtracting numbers, and playing a video. Now, after processing, we will now proceed to the output part. So, computer output is the result of data processing. The categories of output is the same as that of the input. It could be one or a combination of some or all of the categories. So again, we have four categories of output information. The same as input data. So first, we have text. Output text may be in a form of a one-page school report or a result of addition or subtraction of number. Next one, we have graphics. Output graphics could be completed drawing of your pet or toy or a retouched old photo of your family or grandparents. A photo with text added is seen in our example. 
Next one is sound. Sound output could be your voice recording or music you have placed into your computer. You can now listen to all music or voices in the computer. The next one is the video. Video output could include the video camera, copy of your summer vacation, a music video of your favorite singer, or a space shuttle launched by NASA. So to sum up the output part, computer output may be seen, heard, or watched using a computer output peripherals such as the monitor, speaker, or printer. So to sum up our topic for today, computer needs input data and commands from the user to work. The same as after inputting the data, it will go to the process step, and after that, it will go to the output part. So that's our topic for today on how a computer processes a data to information. So I hope you have learned something today from our today's discussion. If you have learned something, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment your learnings for today's discussion. See you on our next topic. Goodbye and God bless.